You can't make me. Are classic words of defiance typically found in movies and TV shows when a not so bright character defies a cop or judge. The defiance is usually dealt with swiftly, sometimes humorously, but most often not. Even if it's funny on the screen, that kind of defiance is never funny in real life, whether it's a little child defying his parents or a grown up child foolishly defying authority. It needs to be dealt with swiftly and without humor. In a right-side-up world, we shouldn't have to deal with defiant adults. Recently, we looked at how judges had to uphold justice without respect of person or accepting bribes. Today, let's look at how people were obligated to follow the law. Following the instruction to select unbiased judges, the text revealed some sins that required swift and hard punishment. Deuteronomy 17, verses 1-7. through in order to preserve the integrity of the judgments, they require two or more witnesses. Recognizing that sometimes the matter would be too hard for local judges, there was a provision for raising it to a higher court. Deuteronomy 17, verses 8 and 9. Back then, just as today, the rulings were not always popular, and the people could be tempted to ignore it, especially when everyone returned home. So God made it very clear that defiance of the law was not acceptable. You shall do according to the terms of the verdict which they declare to you from that place which the Lord chooses, and you shall be careful to observe according to all that they teach you, according to the terms of the law which they teach you, and according to the verdict which they tell you you shall do. You shall not turn aside from the word which they declare to you, to the right or the left. The man who acts presumptuously by not listening to the priest who stands there to serve the Lord your God, nor to the judge, that man shall die. Thus you shall purge the evil from Israel. That's Deuteronomy 17, verses 10 through 12. Yes, God was very serious about this. Notice first the positive instruction that the citizens were obligated to carry out the sentence exactly as handed down. They had to listen carefully so they could carry it out without any deviation. According to the terms of the law which they teach you, and according to the verdict which they tell you, you shall do. You shall not turn aside from the word which they declare to you to the right or the left. That's verse 11. Second, notice that the person who defied the ruling of the court was to be dealt with swiftly as well. The man who acts presumptuously by not listening to the priest who stands there to serve the Lord your God, nor to the judge, that man shall die. That's verse 12. Third was the goal. Then all the people will hear and be afraid and will not act presumptuously again. Deuteronomy 17 verse 13. In other words, God wants a people who speak like Jesus. Not my will, but yours. Mark 14, verse 36. A serious message to a defiant world screaming to God, You can't make me. Well, I can't make you come back tomorrow for a new Morning Minutes in the Bible, but I can ask. Please do. Until then, this is James McClenney helping you have a great day.